Hello everyone, we're back with the third episode of Soccer Wars. This episode will be featuring Maria's past. Oh, no, 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 don't start the opening again. It was a bit late on that. Alright, there we go. Now, we'll be starting episode three. Unfit to be the captain? We shall see. We'll deal with whatever issues she has in her past with... Captains. We saw a little flashback of her in the war in Russia. But first, our villains. Mm hmm. Who was it we beat? Wait, they fled. Uh, I believe last time it was Tenkai himself was there by himself and he lost. I don't think they did anything. You let them win and then you just left. Alright, what's the plan? Okay, let's focus on its leaders, the female leader, and myself, the actual leader, the captain. Okay, if, we took, if they took both of us out. Okay, so they're going to create a divide between the two of us and split us up and take us out one by one. Okay, they have information on her. Secrets of her past. Alright. Okay, let's see what they have in store for us. Mm-hmm. Skeletons in her closet, I see. How will she handle the surprise? Well, probably by running off and doing things on her own. Because she doesn't trust anyone to handle things. Well, she doesn't trust anyone probably not to die on her, but... Yeah, we'll see. Okay, what are we doing? Ah, I'm ticket punching again. Ah, Cinderella this month. Alright. I will be here punching the tickets for Cinderella. I'm finally done punching tickets for the day. I should head somewhere and relax. Ah, and who's this? Ah, Maria. Looking worried about something. Hey, Maria. Hmm. Could she not hear me or something? Hey, Maria. Yeah. What's the matter? I've never seen. Hmm. I've never seen you space out like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dreams about the past. I dream about girls. <laughs> Not the best thing to say, yeah, all the time. I have dreams about when I was an officer. When I was in officer school and when I first came here. Wasn't that like a month and a half ago? Why do you ask? I have dreams about my first day here when I was having nightmares the first night about being a ticket puncher. And I was complaining all day. Maria, wait. What's going on? She's definitely acting strange today. Yeah, thank you. I don't remember what your name is, but... Ah, Kasumi. Okay, I'll have to remember that. Kasumi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it was a really strange conversation. She definitely wasn't her normal self. Uh-huh. Maria messed up some of her lines. She's the most professional out of all of us here. Very unlike her. I wonder what's wrong. I don't think she'd get this depressed from just messing up a line or two. Of course I'm worried. We're squad mates, after all. <laughs> Are you sure that's the only reason? Hey, come on. Don't tease me now. I mean, this is like the second or third time I've talked to you. Kana. I still haven't met her. No. The oldest, I see, along with Maria. Okay, she could help us out. Maybe. Haha. <laughs> Get back to selling tickets. My job's done. See ya. Alright. I should... Oh, yeah. Now that I'm done working, I should find someone to relax. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna follow through on the Maria thing. I'm gonna go take a break. 
Oh no, here we go. Maybe I should look for Maria, try to talk with her a bit more. But first and foremost, most importantly, we're going to buy a bromide. Who should we buy this time? Cinderella, huh? Alright, yeah, Maria's not doing too well. Yes, I would like to buy some bromides. Thank, thank you. Who is this? Who is it? Oh, Sakura? Yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah, I'll take a Sakura. Mm, cute, cute. Alright, sure. Popularity's booming, huh? She's relatable? But she's a country girl? Hmm. I wouldn't think as many people in the city would find her relatable, but alright. I guess the common folk are here too. I wonder what she's thinking. Hmm. Okay. Alright, I will see you later. Tsubaki, I think. Uh, I think it's Tsubaki. I think. Alright, where would Maria be? Probably her room, but... We'll go up the second floor. By the window. Brooding? Maybe? Did I get it? Ah, that's the perfect place to brood. Maria. Maria. Alright. Don't you know I've come a long, long way? Yeah, I'm here. What's the matter? You've been acting strange lately. Oh. Alright, well. I just mumble. You don't look fine at all, Maria. Mumble to myself as she leaves. Alright, where'd she go next? The library, maybe? I wouldn't think so. Probably her room. Oh, who's here? The salon, huh? Ah. Sumire is drinking tea, probably. Well, if it isn't Sumire. Our star actress. Nice job. Cinderella this month, right? I'm not gonna say- yeah, I was gonna say, I'm not gonna say it, but I am presuming you're the evil stepmother. Mm-hmm. Alright. Oh? He loves Cinderella, huh? Why does the fairy godmother set the magic to be undone at midnight? That's how magic is? A promise that could fade away at any moment. That's magic. Yeah, there we go. Smooth. Magic that fades at the stroke of midnight is nothing more than a trick. That's not the kind of magic that Sumeru wants, huh? Alright. Yeah, it's just momentary. Definitely seems like something you'd say. True magic. Alright. Sounds like romance. Power that can make a woman shine for all eternity. That sounds like love. Yeah, sounds like romance. Burn hotter than they ever will in their lives. Alright. Uh-huh. What well, lack refinement to say exactly what she's talking about? I understand. Alright. Yeah. Passion. Not really sure what that was all about, because again, I'm kind of a yeah, kind of blunt, pretty dull. Not very intelligent. I'm a typical harem protagonist. An everyman who's not very bright. Anyone here? No. The rainy season's in full force outside, so I suppose it wouldn't be bad to spend a day or two in the library. It's a nice sunny day outside, but maybe I'll come back when it's raining and spend some time relaxing here. Alright. I mean, actually looking at this, the Shin Sakura Wars did a very good job of making a 3D explorable environment for the for the entire uh, theater. Because, I mean, that library basically looks the exact same as it does there. Pretty nice. Alright, is Maria in her room? Maybe, maybe not. Let's see if she's here. Ah, she is. It's Ogami. I just wanted to talk with you a bit. Okay, don't fry. She won't like that. Alright, excuse me. 
This is my first time seeing your room. Very, very Spartan, very military. Not much here. All right, she looks worried. Let's look at that. Her eyes are a little red. She's not getting enough sleep. What kind of hairstyle did you wear for your role today? Yeah, she's not feeling it. All right. Maria. What's going on with you today? You're not acting like your normal self. If it's okay... Talk to me anytime. I'm here for you. Anytime you want to talk. Alright, taking care of the set. She's ditching me, just leaving me in her room. Okay, I understand. I'll head out. Oh, okay, I guess I'm leaving. I know in Shin Soccer Wars they did that a lot. Like, you'd just be standing there and they'd leave you in their room. It's like, um, okay. Like, sorry, I need to go. Bye. Alright, I'll be off myself. And yeah, they just leave you. And standing in their room. It's because it's 3D and I guess they don't kick you out, but yeah. Okay, who else can we talk to? I feel Yame, whose room's right next to mine. I'm surprised my character didn't have anything to say about that. Is she here? S sounds like it. Hey, you only have this one costume design, huh? First time speaking officially, huh? Well, after I knew who you were, yeah. That pin on her neck. I see it. It's a little shield shape and a pentagon. That's Lieutenant Colonel. How could I have not have noticed? Okay. A pentagon shape. Uh, hmm. Yes. Deputy Commander Fujieda, ma'am. Of course. This is the Deputy Commander's room, after all. Ayame. Alright. Surprised with the nature? Well, I didn't think it was going to be a uh, theater, and that it would be a ticket puncher, but it's a very nice place. Eh. Alright. Of course, I need to calm down. I already remember that you were uh, pretty heavily flirting with me the first time we met, so yeah. Casual. Casual. Alright. You were writing a report, huh? Okay, she writes all the reports. Major part of the job, huh? I see. Uh-huh, anything else you'd like to ask? Uh, any casualties in the last battle? Relatively minor damage. Alright. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Movement's been limited, but... My excellent leadership. Yeah. We did fairly well. Okay. Okay. Koran, yeah. I mean, she... She triple killed somebody in the first... Uh, first. The first shot, yeah. She did pretty good. Critical three at once. She did pretty well. Yep, truly inspiring. She probably won't perform that well in the uh, next few chapters because that was her introduction. Wanted to kind of hype her up. But thank you, ma'am. What about the battle report? How did it impact the surrounding area of uh, the park? Significant damage to the tower. What? I didn't let anyone near it. I mean, did it take damage from uh, Denkai standing on it? I thought, I mean, he could have been flying over it. Yeah, there's no excuse for my failure, I'm sorry. I didn't do well enough. Understood. Huh? But I proved much more impressive results. Is this because the first time I got a perfect with no damage? Come on now. Alright, I'm leaving. Thanks for the chat. What about Sakura? What now? She's a newcomer, yeah. And... We're both working our hardest. Affection could bloom. Eh? Trying to... Trying to push us together? Game? I know Sakura's the main girl, but this... There's others supporting this? 
Uh, affection, huh? So as her commanding officer, you need to support her. If she falls in love with you, you need to let it happen. Just, you need to, uh, encourage this behavior and the relationship that she's trying to build with you. You need to just let it happen. And if all of the girls start falling in love with you, you need to uh, lead all of them on as the captain. And then ditch them and go to France. And go to Paris and do the same exact thing. That's what any commanding officer would do. Make sure that their, uh, their unit morale is high and everyone's happy. Don't pick anybody. Just keep it going forever. Lead them on until you get sucked into a demon portal to hell. And, uh... We'll wonder what, what's uh, what's going on with that plot point for 20 years. Of course, sure. That's vaguely specific, ma'am, but I'll keep that in mind. I didn't have any plans going to a Paris anytime soon, but I'll think about it when we're done here. You said that there's a, there's a unit in Paris, huh? Hmm. Okay. I'll think about it. Okay, let's go downstairs. And let's check backstage. Maybe somebody is... is doing something back here. Ah, here we go. Ah, Koran. Okay, what's up? This set piece looks like it's about to collapse. Sure. Fix it up. Okay. Maria wasn't paying attention. She's spacing out. Hmm. You don't sound so good. Usually you're the straight-laced one. Alright. The set. Oh no, it's gonna... Whatever I'm holding up is gonna fall on top of me. Oh, yep, there we go. Damn, this is heavy. <laughs> Got some real muscle in those guns. Yeah. <laughs> the heck's... Maybe you guys could, uh, do something about this before I get crushed. Alright, I'll just hold it to get some rope. You're sweating a lot. Yeah. You've got this, don't worry. Just push through it. <laughs> Call Chief Yoneda. Yeah, what would he do? He's not gonna be able to help. Just do something. I'll cheer for you. Thanks, Iris. That gave me a slight burst of power. Huh? Iris, get out of the way. We're gonna both get crushed. Ah. We're live. It seems the strong member of the group has joined us. Wow. Look at her towering over my short frame. It's pretty sad. You can't even lift 500 pounds. Weak. I mean, Kana is very tall. I mean, isn't she like 6'7 or something? She's taller than me in real life, too. But yeah, I think she's like 6'7. She's holding up with one hand. Who are you? Well, that's Kana. Remember her last name? Like the pants. Those little finger... finger grip wrap things. I guess it helps when you're gripping things so it doesn't fray your, uh, the pads up top. Yeah, I was getting crushed. No problem. Oh, yep, there's Kana. Your luggage got washed away. Oh. Okay. What happened? This is Kana? She's a giant? Are you sure she's Japanese? She has red hair and she's 6'7? I think she's 6'7 anyway. Pretty sure. The boat sunk and you swum back, huh? Okinawa. How far is Okinawa from Ginza? She swam all the way. 
impressive. Pretty big feat of strength. Not just strong, but she's a strong swimmer. Hmm. Those are different muscles. The guy making all the fuss getting crushed by this. This, uh. beam. Amitro Gami. The, uh. yeah, here we go. I used to be an ensign in the Navy, but now I'm captain of the Imperial Assault Troop. So I'm your new captain. Yep, I'm the boss. Alright. Nice to meet you. Mm-hmm. Yo. Koran's not really my type, but she's okay. Kind of a Washu type. And Washu's fine in the group, but... Yeah, not really my thing. You're a pretty handsome guy. I mean, she's cleavage right there. Uh, I, I guess. I mean, you can't tell by her voice. Mr. Yoneda, who is this person? I believe she just introduced herself. And haven't they told you about the other member, Kana, that was away in Okinawa? Pretty sure she just said who she was, and that she just came back. We are very dumb. We need to have everything explained to us. Ryukyu Kirishima Karate, huh? Okay. Fully assembled. We got a full group. Alright. Kana Kirishima. So she's our final member. Okay. Yeah, Kana's pretty cool. Yeah, she's pretty tall. Look at that. Mm, she somehow noticed that uh, she gets blood rocks. I see. Oh, so wait, so she learned she could do that while on the ship, and she probably caused it to sink, huh? Okay. Sumeri was worried the most. <laughs> oh, Sumeri. Yep. The train. Really? She went to Okinawa to train when she's already that strong? And she has her own family's karate style? Ah, it's where she was born. Okay, so she was probably going to go train with family members. Alright. Maria's... Yeah, Maria's been having issues lately. Alright. Sure thing. I don't know where you want to go, but I'll join you. Number one in my class. Yep. Top of my year. I'll show you how they fight in the Navy. Well, they didn't uh, teach me karate. Probably like minor amounts of judo. If they even still did that. I know they did for samurai. But I don't know if they teach... I mean, Samurai, of course, knew more judo than that. But I don't know if they had a minor. Like, you, you learned a little bit of hand to hand in officer school in the 20s. Alright, we're gonna spar. Okay, this is gonna go poorly. I mean, she's probably got, like, a good foot on my guy. In height. And, uh, she's pretty strong. Ah, she's gonna do karate techniques and I'll block them. Okay. Not very good at karate. I won't be able to defend myself. Okay, you'll tell me what you're going to do beforehand. Okay. Remember the order. Yeah, I got a pretty good memory. Okay. A low kick. Then a thrust to the stomach. And then... An upper roundhouse kick. Okay, so a low kick, stomach, and then upper roundhouse. Sure. Okay, here we go. Block. Okay, so low kick. The first one. A low kick. Then a stomach. Then an upper roundhouse. Uh huh. Now the stomach thrust. Guard my stomach. Uh huh. Blocked. Now upper roundhouse. There we go. Very stressful. 
There we go. Block them all. Uh, you give me too much credit there. You told me what you were going to do, and then you slowly, one by one, did each move, and I blocked them. Uh, yeah. I mean, you're babying me. Of course, you didn't even put your power into it. You probably just break my forearms when I, met, when I tried to block it. Yeah, being praised means a lot, though. I don't really do much. Okay. We have the melee fighter. Sure, I'm hungry. Always hungry. Your specialty. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, I could eat a cow. Alright, off to the kitchen. Can't wait to see what she's gonna make. I think it's some kind of rice dish, if I remember correctly. Oh, is it some kind of, like, curry? Mmm. What is it? Okay, I'll wait. Okay, I can't wait to see what you'll whip up. I think it's some kind of, like, spicy curry or something. Mmm, that sounds good right now. Let's wait until she's finished. She's taking her sweet time. We wait. This is gonna. Tr this is trying to trick you. It's a little time run out. All right. Oh no problem. What's this? There's some sort of reddish black object in the rice. Black pork and bitter gourd fried with red and black pepper. Black pork. Hmm. Wonder what it was cooked in. Hmm. Sounds good. Black pork and bitter gourd, red and black pepper, and barley rice. Red and black pepper's not that spicy. That's that's not really spicy. The red sauce, all pepper. Red and black pepper. I mean, it depends what type of peppers, but it's red pepper. And yeah, I mean, it's probably not that hot. I can handle it. I mean, I can handle ghost peppers, so I can handle these red and black peppers. They're probably pretty mild. This is... hot. Well, seems he can. It's not raw, but it's extremely salty. So salty pork. Black pork? Hmm. Once you survive the first bite, it's super tasty. This is awesome, I love it. Hmm, hungry now. Yeah, I mean, it's crude, but... I mean, rice dishes... I mean, good old, like, red beans and rice. Or simple curry. Still have their charm. If it's good, you can just sit there and eat bowls of it. So, no issue here. It just occurred to me. I know almost nothing about you. Why don't you tell me some things about yourself? I just know you do karate. And, uh, yeah. What does karate mean to you? I mean, I can probably guess, but... Uh-huh. Everyone has their own path, right? Some people plow the fields and go fishing. Some get rich. Want to get strong. I understand. Yeah. Alright. No, that's a good answer. I mean, you're so tall. I mean, yeah, you have all that strength. Makes sense. I mean, it'd be a waste not to use it. Alright. How did you end up here? Okay. All she did was karate until this year. Okay. Uh-huh. But now you can act, huh? Yeah. But you'd never guess that you're gonna be a theater performer. In the capital, of all places. Oh, she can make people smile. Ayame, huh? Huh. Alright. Playing a man. Uh-huh. Stage fright, yeah. Uh. Hmm. I see. Oh, you guys do well now. Has the theater changed much in the, like, two months you've been gone? We got three new recruits, yeah. That's true. Of course. Yeah. They'll definitely be more lively. 
we eat out of the same pot every day, so to speak. Yeah, we'll get along. I'm sure we will, Kana. Yeah, it seems pretty late. Looks like we lost track of time training and then eating and then talking. Yep, see you tomorrow. What is it? Yeah, they're good kids. Oh, thanks. Uh huh. There's so many people that that she likes, huh? All right. Oh, so she's she's not really that open with people, I see. She seems the friendly type, but I guess she doesn't open up. So she likes me. That doesn't feel too bad. Well, now I'm stuffed. Should go rest in my room before the uh, midnight rounds. Let's see if anyone comes knocking tonight. Oh, someone. Intercepted me on my way. Ooh, Maria. Ah, she lost something. Something wrong. Maria. Okay, it was probably her locket that she carries around. So that was, uh... That was in the, uh... The next time preview. It seemed pretty important. Did my foot hit something? Mm hmm? I just stepped on something that's about the size of a small pocket watch. I mean, the locket seemed pretty big. Like, half dollar size, about. Yep, this what you lost? It was on the floor here and I stepped on it. Uh, really? Okay, here you go. Yeah, it's a beautiful locket. Huh? Hmm. Uh, yeah, there was not really anything good I could have said. What's inside there? Not good. And, uh, is that your good luck charm? She'd probably take negatively that, too. I guess whoever it belonged to or whoever's picture is inside of it is... deceased. For sure. For sure. That locket seems to be connected to what's troubling her. That reminds me. What was all that about dreaming of the past? Yeah, obviously. She's thinking about her past. Some Somebody died. Obviously it has to do with this captain business. Maria, I wonder what dream you'll be having tonight. Ah. In uniform. We'll just move on. Don't need to save every time. It's habit. So I seem to, uh... Fall back into my usual, and I save every time I- okay, here we go. Russia, 1917. I see the Russian Revolution. Hmm, this was what, seven years ago? Is that the captain? Yeah. Alright, well. Ah, she wears it when she sleeps, huh? Hmm. Alright. Just a dream. Alright, enemy time. Misfortune breeds misfortune. Okay. That was quick. Yeah, no, Maria's not here. Hmm. Yeah, she's never been late. Alright. Oh, there she is. Now we're talking to Maria. Are you alright? You don't look so good. Alright, what's the hype of darkness doing? They're attacking another park. Uh huh. Okay, where are they at? The Hexmax have appeared in Tsukiji. I don't know where that is. Yeah, Tsukiji. Tsujiki, sorry. Tsujiki. I was reading it backwards. Okay, the Hexmax are in Tsujiki. A block of abandoned buildings by the river. Uh huh. Okay. I see, understood. Ah, Kana's coming with us. Roger that. 
All right, everyone. Time to show the world the might of the fully assembled assault. Time to show the world the might of the fully assembled Imperial Assault Troop. Imperial Assault Troop, move out. Alright, this little FMV again. I'm sure they spent a big bit of budget on it, so you might as well get the most out of it by seeing it every time. I mean, this was this was pretty good in 97. Sega Saturn 3D. I mean, yeah, it's it's no Final Fantasy 7, but... Which I think came out the same year, if I recall. I think it was 97 as well, but still. A big chunk of uh, the budget went into this. Uh, most likely one person did it. <laughs> they probably slept in the office a few nights. At the very least. I, I assume they were probably sleeping in the office as they were designing these FMVs. That's how important FMVs were at this time. It was a draw to show off, like, look. Looks amazing, huh? It's pretty, uh... Yeah, it's a technological marvel. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. We've got full motion video, 3D cutscenes. I mean, yeah, like 80% of them are playing the same one over and over again, but. Yeah, they're in there. That's why this game has two discs. Although, does the other disc... Does the other disc continue the game? Or is the other disc, like, bonus? I don't remember. And we're just gonna let them do this again. That doesn't look good, whatever they're doing. I mean, last time Tenkai said he could see the gates to hell. After he did that? <laughs> Hold it right there, Hive of Darkness. We're gonna slowly make our way to you in the next 15 minutes as we do this. Take out all your, uh, x max Alright, pose. <laughs> He's not impressed with our pose. I mean, we are not looking at him. I mean, he's over northeast of us. Alright, we're coming after you. Yeah, yeah. I, well, yeah, we're always too late. You guys already did it by the time we got here. The second seal of the hexagram of Infernal Calling. Yeah, we should probably get on what exactly they're doing. And maybe figure out if that park we were at the beginning, if they didn't manage to get the, the one off there. Mark that down as important, probably, to defend. Keep an eye on. Alright, if we defeat everybody here, it should clear the whole mess up. Well... That's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Of course, if you defeat everyone here, the, the mess will clear itself up because he'll run away or die. All right. Ah, Kana's gonna show her ability by punching this uh, this man to death, this hex mech. I mean, they are like... I mean, they showed the... Uh, yeah, that was a crit. All right, one down, pretty good. Okay, this is Maria. Let's see. Uh, nobody up here. Alright, everyone's over here. Move Maria over here, and we'll just end the turn. I don't want you too far up. Because you're... Besides Iris, you're the weakest of the group. Alright, it's my turn. Let's see what I can do. I will, uh, take the front. Yeah, just end. Sakura is the second strongest behind me. Well, I mean, Kana's pretty strong, but she has like the, uh... And she's like an all-rounder. And you need to get pretty close. So next turn, hopefully we can shoot somebody. Alright, guys, let's go. You guys can't make it to us. Alright, come on. Please group up. Yep, yep, yep. Alright. Um, you're... Break through the front line, yeah. You're a front line fighter, yep. I accidentally clicked the wrong thing with Koran yesterday, but... Not gonna make the mistake again. 
Alright. I move quite a bit. Uh, flanking them mm, uh, isn't really worth it. Okay, she can't make it to anybody, so we'll defend. Maria cannot make it to anyone, so we will get back here, ready to shoot. We will go here. She can hit through. We will stand here. And uh, defend. Sakura will go here. And hopefully Koran can hit someone from right here. Damn it. Well, no luck. Alright. Khan and myself will be taking these. Okay, no problem. Oh no, that's a blue one. That's a cannon guy. He can hit multiple people. Damn. Hmm. Alright. Okay. Kana's gonna punch that man to death. Take that hex mech out. Okay. Uh huh. Nice. Pretty good. Mm, we will move up here. Okay. Maria will move here and shoot him. And then Sumeri will take him out, hopefully. Alright, yep, Sumeri should be able to handle that. Alright. Pretty good. Good teamwork. That's what I like to see. Maybe someone here will get a crit. I don't know who's next. I think it's me, yeah. Alright. Hmm, no crit. Okay, uh, is anybody grouped? No, nobody's grouped up there. Hmm. Yeah, it's Sakura next. Sakura's not gonna be able to make it to him. Um. Okay, defend. Oh, she can attack. Take that foot soldier out. Alright. Good job, Kara. That was low damage, but good job. Alright, we'll move you uh, over here. Okay, Sakura's gonna take a hit. Sakura and I should be able to take him out next round. Uh huh. Okay. We'll be able to hit him. Maria might be able to make it. If Kana doesn't crit him. Go Kana. Oh, there she goes. Crit him. That was a crit. Good job. Okay. Maria can't get anything done. She wouldn't have been able to shoot him anyway. Alright. Alright. Wow, can't move very far. Yep, in turn. Uh, this is as far as I need to go. Okay. Come on, get a crit. Nope, no crit. I do a third hit if there's a crit. Alright, Sakura will be able to take him out. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Okay, she can take him out and then move. Alright, she didn't waste a crit. That's good. That's good. Good job. She can move fairly well. Very, very far. Okay. Um, I don't think I can hit anything from here. No. Alright. Alright, we are breaking through. Oh, there we go. Crit. Nice. I mean, she's gonna be able to get hit next turn, but... Okay, I should be able to shoot him. No 
Okay. Sauron should be able to take him out. Sumeray will move up here. Myself, I will move all the way back over here. Try to meet up with everyone. Um, I'm gonna cover Kana. Now in my turn, Sakura will move into position over here. In turn, we will attack him, take him out. So Maria doesn't get hurt too much. And do some damage to the, uh, at there. Alright. We'll be able to move through. Okay, he's running back. They didn't move. Okay. Well, Kana will go this way, and she'll block. Alright, come on, take it out. You can do it. Good job, Maria. Because we need to get, uh... Defends. Okay, Sumire, he will move in there. We need to get, uh... Koran up there. I guess we'll move, I'll move over with them. Since it's open. Alright, Sakura's moving in. And then Koran is kind of going to be out, out there, but... She can get a. All right, here we go. Not a crit, but that's good damage. There we go. Karan's gonna take some damage from this, though. I should probably block her. How much damage is the question? E. Okay. And then the cannon one's gonna shoot her. I can heal her this next round, though. Yeah. Okay. It's alright. She's fine. Okay. Take out the foot soldier. Come on. Nope. No crit. Oh, still enough damage to instant kill him, though. Okay. Alright, anyone else over here? Move out over here. Eh? Did that immediately start the fight? Okay, well, I was gonna be able to take them out easy. We've got you now, Setsuna. Oh no, a civilian. There's a boy there that didn't evacuate in time. This is bad. What should we do? Yeah, we gotta save the kid. Alright, I'm gonna save the kid. It's a Tanfa, huh? Alright, well. Busted my, uh. My Kobu up. Okay. Well. And he got away. Is that the end of that battle? It would seem so. Alright. Okay. Sure. So is my Kobu out of commission for now? Oh, where am I? I see. What is going on here? Tenkai and Koran, huh? And I'm under medical lights. Like the old hospital style ones. Okay, I'm in their clutches and Koran's here. Uh huh. Hmm. I can't move my arms and legs, I'm bound to this table. What is, uh, your brilliant assistant, Koran. How could you do this to me? How could you betray me? How could you cheat at Koi Koi? Yahoo, Ogami Hong. Oh, my, Zamaya. 
How could you go around? I'm gonna be remodeled. Is this a uh, common rider? Can I bust out and have a cyborg body? The hive of darkness. What was uh? Oh, yeah, Shaka, Shaka. The group Shocker is the main. Is the boss called Shocker? Shocker, Shocker. Yeah, it's just Common Rider. I'm gonna be remodeled. The newest minion. Oh no, it is just Common Rider. I don't have a friend that smokes a pipe to help me out. Oh no. Oh no, I've been chosen to join Shocker. What animal am I gonna be? The mantis is already taken. It's not, he's a grasshopper. Yeah, Common Rider's a grasshopper, right? The grasshopper is already taken. Koran, stop. Oh no. This is obviously a dream. It's going on way too long. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's not the issue here. I don't really have much faith in that either. Hmm. No, stop, please. No, anything but that. And here we go. After this loading. And here we go. I wake up. You were having a nightmare. Yeah, it was a weird dream. A weird dream that we're never, uh, ever gonna have explained. It was just, you know, did Setsuna do that with magic? Or? I don't know. But whatever. Everything's fine. Yeah. Guess it was just a dream. Watching too much Kamen Rider yesterday. What happened to that kid? That kid. Hey, that kid. You made it out, alright. Yeah, I see. Uh, any of us would do the same thing. No, oh, come on, I'm blushing now. Ah. Oh. Maria's gonna call me an idiot, right? No, no, she's not here. I was quite gravely injured, huh? And I'm, I'm fine now. Alright. I was out for three days on a recovery pod. I see. I see. It's like dynamic. Alright, my head aches a bit, but if that's the worst of it. Only a little. It's fine. No, I don't need the medicine. I'm fine. It's all right. Get some rest, all right. Painkillers, maybe, I hope? What the heck is this? Some Chinese medicine, huh? All right. Ah, wonder drug, okay. You made this? Ancient Chinese medicine, huh? I suddenly feel... like I'm gonna pass out for another three days. Wow. The medicine's gonna do that, not the healing pod? My wounds will seal up from taking this medicine. Alright. And Maria ran off somewhere. Alright. I'll wake up later to deal with this Maria. This Maria... problem, this issue that she's having. Okay. Yeah, my sleep schedule is completely ruined. I'm waking up during the night shift. Hmm. That was a good sleep. Someone is beside me. Do I feel threatened? Oh. Oh, I'm laying in bed. I thought I walked out into the hall and said, ah. Okay, someone came in here and put some on my forehead. A cold hand. A cold Russian hand? 
naturally cold. Alright, that was Maria. She's gonna do something drastic if she came in to see me before leaving. Yeah, who could it have been? Well, I can take a guess. Probably the woman that wears gloves all the time. Mm -hmm. Alright. Just naturally cold. That's why she has ice powers. Someone else is coming? Probably Sakura now. Oh, Kana. Yeah, I'm feeling alright. You always sound so energetic. Ginky. They brought their best and energetic, yeah? Smiling face is the next best thing. Thin food. Yeah. Yep, sounds exactly like you, Ghana. I agree. Wish I could have half your energy. I'm pretty low energy. If you can tell by the way I talk. Pretty laid back. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, that's way too much praise. I don't deserve that. You're a weirdo. Nah, you're fine. All right, later. Yeah, I'm fine now. Got a good rest. I've certainly caused everyone to worry a great deal. Crap, my head is passing out again. And someone's here. Ugh. Ah, there's Maria. Has she been taking care of me while I'm passed out? Uh... Yeah, very, uh... Very, uh... Natural, not suspicious at all pose. M Maria? What's wrong? What are you doing? Just... Oh, nothing. Not nothing. I'm, I'm looking over here, playing with my hair. Got my hand up, moving my hair for no reason. Oh, I was just passing by and I'm in your room. Yeah, nothing. That's nah, alright. Sorry about this. I'm the captain. Yeah, I still let something like this happen to me. Why'd I leap out? That child was in danger. I was the closest one to him. If I didn't do anything, he probably wouldn't have made it. Well, that kid was... He... Yes. Yes, they are entirely my own fault. The enemies... Yeah. Yeah. Because I got hurt, you guys got distracted, and they got away. Yeah, I understand. Uh, yeah, I mean, I couldn't stand by and let that child get killed. I mean, honestly, we probably shouldn't have let him get away. I mean, he was gonna kill that child that ran out, and then I blocked it. He hit me and hurt me. And then we kind of just all were shocked that I did that. And then you kind of, really, all of you girls kind of just let him leave after he, uh, he took me out. I mean, if I would have died, that would have been unfortunate because it would have been for nothing. I mean, it wasn't for nothing. I protected that child, but like, he would have just killed me and then turned around and left on that boat and you guys would have just let him leave. So at least I didn't die and we saved that child. So we can't, if we can't even save a child, what good is the troop? What good is the flower division? Yeah, she's not gonna let, yeah, I know. She's worried about me dying like her previous commander. Yeah, I know. We let them get away. Yeah, I know. You've gone too far, Maria. You're saying I should have just let that child die? Maria, what you say makes sense from the perspective of a warrior or a soldier. But abandoning a child is something I could never do. If I had died, it would have been no different. I'm sorry for that. But I'm not going to die on you just yet. I'm not that weak. I'm unfit to be captain. Oh no, there it comes. The title of this episode. 
unfit recap them. Alright, we've got another battle coming up. Was I mistaken? I mean, she has a point that if I would have died, I'm worth a lot more than that child. Because I'm the commander of the task force that has to fight the demons. And losing one of the handful of us is a bigger hit on the country than losing a, a random child. But I didn't die. So, eh. Eh, I didn't die. It's alright. No, it's not true. If I'd abandoned that child, I would have spent the rest of my life regretting it. At any rate, I should try to speak to Maria about this again. Alright. And she's not there, is she? I hear people talking. Ah, Hannah's yelling at her. Alright. Hmm. I mean, she, uh, she has issues with her former captain dying. He probably died saving her or something. Mm-hmm. She doesn't trust anyone, yeah. She has trust issues. She starts throwing stuff. That's not helpful, Kana. Alright. Ooh, now she's threatening not to talk to her. Wow. Kana, Kana truly is a girly girl deep down. I don't know how that help anything. You don't stop being like this, Maria. I'm just gonna stop talking to you. Forever. We won't be friends anymore. <laughs> Kana, you're blackmailing her with your friendship. You're threatening to not be her friend. Yeah, gotta hide. Hide behind the door like a ninja. Head on the ceiling. And yeah, just around the corner. That's pretty fast. If she opened the door halfway and I just, like, did some ninja rolls down the hallway, slid down, uh, risky business style on my socks. Yeah. All right, I got to the library. And now I tired myself out. Yeah, running was a bad idea. Oh, I reopened my wounds. Another three days of bed rest. Put me back in the pod. Oh no. Where am I now? Am I back in bed? I'm out of here. I'm having a nightmare. Meet the new captain. <laughs> Start of the day. Iris is the captain. I see uh, what I think of Iris, huh? That my nightmare would be them making her the captain, and in my mind, that's a joke. She's disappointed in me. But starting tomorrow, I'm a servant of the Kanazaki household. I'm becoming a butler. I mean, that has a nice ring to it, but I don't really want to be someone's servant. The idea of being like a... I don't know, like a Jeeves-style butler? Or I'm like amazing? I like the idea. But the idea of being someone's servant? Not so much. I don't know, it's like something I couldn't do. Like, ah... But wouldn't it be cool to have, like, an 80s-style Ojo that you're the butler of? It'd be cool, but, like, I don't know. Like, it's like, but yeah, it'd be really cool to be, like, her bodyguard slash butler slash... Like, why don't you just be, like, her boyfriend? You don't have to be the butler. Like, the servant can do that. I don't want to be a servant. Alright, yeah. Oh, she's kind of remodeling me, yeah. Unfit to be- you said that, Sakura, that hurts. Oh, everyone's saying it now. Alright, I'm- I'm useless. Okay. Let's remodel. Alright. I need a common Rider upgrade. Everyone. I am... I am... Tears? Maria is crying. Why? Why am I- why is she crying in my dream? Eh? Maria? Huh? This is... Um... 
Ayame's crying. What? This is another dream, isn't it? Oh, no, this seems real. I collapsed in the library. Yeah, I remember. Are you sure this isn't a dream? Why are you asking me to stay with you tonight? Uh, I feel okay, but... I don't know, you're coming on to me kind of strong. Uh, I've been nothing but a burden ever since we met. It's part of my job to look after your well-being. I mean, after all, that's why, uh... She did what she did with my finger, right? Yeah. That's a normal thing for a boss to do. She just take care of me, you know? You gotta take care of your subordinates. You know, like you see somebody who was hurt in battle pass out in the hall, you drag them to your room and ask, ask them to spend the night with you. Yeah, that's, uh... Mmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't think this is a proper, uh, superior subordinate relationship we have. It sounds like her, but yeah, it doesn't sound proper. Why did you come to this theater? You got transferred, alright. I'm in such agony. I'm alright. I was having a nightmare. I'm worried about Maria. She hasn't been herself lately. Yeah, she doesn't really open up to people. It's that... It's that icy Russian stereotype. She's pretty rough around the edges and slow to open up, but once she does... Mm -hmm. No. That's true. Alright. Off you go. Yes, I will take you up on that. See ya. Glad I got out of there. That was awkward. Alright, anyone here? That would be a no. Nobody here. Wouldn't expect anyone to be up drinking tea at this hour. Hmm. What Maria said. I'm unfit to be captain. Could that really be true? Is she by the window again? No? Okay. Looking out at Ginza at night, I never thought that the neon streets could be this beautiful. Right. I haven't spotted Maria. Where is she? Okay, let's go downstairs. Um, where could she be? Um... The Midnight Watchman's room. I mean, the Night Watchman's room. The Midnight Watchman. I have Midnight on the Brain. Um, is she on stage? I wouldn't think so. I mean, I'll run through the kitchen. We'll see. Oh, is she in the lobby? Ah, I just bumped into her. Maria! Wait, wait up. Hmm, she doesn't want to talk. Please, listen to me. Uh huh. Maria, wait. Did she run? No, she ran outside. Oh no. Setsuna's out there. Ah, we got a little. No, it's not animated, never mind. But. That voice. Setsuna. The little short, uh. Looks like. Reminds me of Chris from King of Fighters. That's his name, right? Chris? The, uh. The Shoda that's on Shermie's team? Team New Face? Right? Cassowary? Codename Cassowary? Okay, like just to rant a little bit. Shin Soccer Wars did a lot of things wrong. One of those being that they pander a bit too much with the fan service of having like characters be complete ripoffs of these characters. Like Anastasia is way too much of a ripoff of Maria. I mean, she's the icy older sister one. I mean, yeah, she looks like Har like a combination of like Haribo and yeah, it's pretty much it's like Haribo and Rengiku. I mean, that's Kubo, but I mean, I'm pretty sure it didn't uh, Anastasia have a code name too? It wasn't like 
obviously it wasn't like Cassowary, but I think she had her code name too. Although I don't think she wasn't Russian though. Isn't Anastasia, despite her name Anastasia, wasn't she like Greek? Hence why she's tanned. I think she was like Greek or something. I thought she was Russian at first because she was basically like New Maria, like Shin Sakura. She was like New Maria and uh, her name's Anastasia, so I just thought, eh, she's, she's probably Russian. And she's also the gun character because, she, again, she's Maria, so she's the gun character. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't like... It's like, uh, The Force Awakens. Like, it's basically like A New Hope again. Like, they're just ripping off little elements from A New Hope. Like, eh, A New Hope is better. Like, the retread, and it's kind of like, eh, it's kind of retreading the same steps we've already been down. It doesn't need to be done. Anyway, rant over, we're done. Soldier of the Revolution? Whoa, whoa, whoa. She was part of the... Russian red, the red re Russian revolution. She was on the. Which side? Soldier who defends justice. So she was she on the crown side. Or was she on the rebellion? Uh -huh. I see. Mm -hmm. Alright. <laughs> what a laugh. Little monkey laugh. <laughs> Little monkey sounding laugh. That is a very fake laugh. I don't think anybody laughs like that. Very anime laugh. I mean, it has nothing on One Piece laughs, but yeah, very fake laugh. Cassowary? Eh, I'll say it. She's probably not gonna like me saying it. What sort of name's that? What's a code name, obviously? Cassowary? Maria, if you go, then I'm going with you. Alright. Alright. All the same. All that just now. Cassowary and Soldier of the Rus Russian Revolution? I mean, yeah, it probably means she was a revolutionary. What could it mean? You aren't gonna tell me anything, are you? No, she is not. Yeah, it doesn't look like a military uniform. I mean, it doesn't look like a revolutionary uniform either, but... But, oh well. Okay, let's resume. I wonder... Just what did Setsuna mean? All those things he said about Maria. What was he getting at? Hmm, very strange. Emergent. Did Maria leave? I mean, you're wearing your uniform, so I bet she left, huh? She's like, oh, I'm not gonna fall for that provocation. Yep, there she goes. She's not even in uniform. Come on, Maria. Yep, she ran off in her kobu. Not in uniform. Disappointed. You sure, Kana? Well, yeah, I mean, we just saw her leave, so yeah, I'm pretty sure. Is she gonna fight Setsuna alone? Yep, that's what she's doing, obviously. Alright, let's go. Let's head out. Gotta go save her. I mean, Anastasia did the exact same thing. I mean, actually, the, the good thing here, again, Maria's character, Anastasia's character. So they do the same thing. Spoiler. Uh, Anastasia runs off by herself again but while Maria was doing it because she was provoked and she was worried about I got hurt and she doesn't want me to die and she doesn't trust me to lead and not die and people around her dying and so forth and she's having nightmares about stuff like that that's why she's doing it Anastasia betrayed us was working with the demons the entire time. Again, spoilers, sorry about that. But no one's watching, doesn't matter. Anastasia was betraying us, working with the demons, betraying humanity, Japan, the world, aiding the demons, giving them secret intel. 
telling them what we're doing. Everything. Because they promised her they could bring her parents back to life. And then we do the same thing when we get there, and she's there out in front by the boss. Like, Maria is. And then they're like, oh, well, okay, good job. Now we're gonna kill you. And she's like, what? We're gonna, we said we'd reunite you with your parents. So you'll see them. In hell. And, yeah, so. Anastasia is, uh, yeah, a poor copy of Maria. I mean, I mean, actually, after that chapter happened in Shin Sakura Wars, I was not a fan of Anastasia, actually. I was like, wow, that was very stupid of you to do. And you actually betrayed humanity. Like, you actually betrayed humanity. And were an agent for the demons. She's not fight sets, I know, yeah, I know. Yeah, you betrayed humanity. And you were an agent for the demons. Because you thought they were going to give you something. And then, surprise, surprise, they lied to you, and they are going to kill you after they didn't need you anymore. And I come and save you, and then it's like, okay, let's just go back to normal. Let's not talk about it anymore. I mean, yeah, Maria was part of the Russian Revolution, and yeah, like, I, I get we won't talk about that, but, like, okay, she she's not proud about her past, but I think she's mainly just said the people she knew died, not what she did. I mean, obviously, she didn't want us to know she was part of the Russian Revolution, but... But Anastasia actually betrayed humanity, because she thought she would get something. Uh, so yeah, not a fan of Anastasia. I mean, she's cute, but... I don't know. Like, personality-wise, she's like a poor clone of Maria. And then I don't really like most of the written, like, backstory and depth to her character. It's either, like, Maria clone, and then the rest of it is actually just making a Maria-type character worse. Uh-huh. I see. So she was a, uh, special... Running like a black flame. Okay. Her captain. He was like a brother to her. I see. He's even wearing his glasses there, huh? Is he in a pot? What am I looking at right now? Is he like in a healing pot or is like, what is that? Is that like a, a clipping of a photo? I mean, I see that it's Maria thinking about him and it's like red and there's Russian writing. But what is that? Is that like a, just her thinking about him? Is that when he got shot? I can't tell. She was afraid of all the gunfire, I see. Wait, how is she afraid of the gunfire? When her captain got shot. When she was supposed to be the black flame that swept across Russia. A lone girl. I see, okay. She sees her old self in me. Uh, I hope not. But still, for her to run off the fight alone is stupid. <laughs> Very stupid. Yeah, she's always been like that. Not bringing up tragedies of her past, so she's just gonna go get herself killed. For no reason. Alright. Yeah, she has a lot of baggage. That's for sure. Alright, she's trying to play the martyr. Alright, we'll go save her. Okay. Let's go. Flower Division, move out. Yep, we'll bring you with next time, Iris. Right. Imperial Assault Troop, move out. Alright, got a, a nighttime FMV. Alright. Very nice. Very nice. Alright. 
battle time. Second battle of this episode. See, these, these, this is when the episodes start running a little longer. But still, like, we haven't got to the later episodes where the battles themselves are very lengthy because of how many enemies there are. You have to wait for their turn every time you cycle through your units. Alright, there's Maria. Okay, she's, uh, there's somebody. He was just standing there. Oh, well, she made short work of that red one. We haven't even fought any of them yet. Oh, those are probably brown ones, and it's just night. Never mind. Alright, she's just critting them. Those are just brown ones. Alright. Oh, mm-mm. Okay. I mean, she's terrified of us finding out about her past, huh? I mean, finding out that she was part of the revolution? I don't really see, like, I guess, but... I mean, she was just a random soldier. I mean, I'm sure she shot people. I mean, I don't think she committed any, like, ridiculous atrocities. I mean, I know a lot went on in the Russian Revolution, but I don't think her as a female foot soldier was doing anything. Besides shooting people. And the way they talk about it, she was alone, like a lone, random, like, sniper with a bolt action. So, yeah, I don't think that she was firing, squatting anybody, like civilians or anything. So, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, yeah I don't know. I think we can sweep it under the rug, it's alright. I don't, yeah, I mean, we won't talk about it, but... It's nothing to worry about. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, that's beefy. Um, okay. We need to get Koran over there so she can start hitting him. She doesn't have very far reach. Okay. Sumire needs to make sure she doesn't get too close. Okay, Sakura, you doing all right? Let's put you over here. I will go by Sumire. Yeah, yeah, you need to get over. Damn, it's not very close. Alright, and I will get on the other side of Sumire. I'll get right here. See if anybody moves. No? Oh, there's somebody. A lot of enemies. Okay, yeah, there are a lot of enemies. Wow. Okay. Okay, there we go. We don't have Maria for range. Come on. No crit. 96, though. Good job, Kana. Go, Kana. Okay. Um, you will back me and Koran up. Sakura, you will follow Tana and keep her safe. And we will meet you guys. I am going to stand right here. Hopefully it's not too close. Alright. Anybody moving? Ah, there we go. He's gonna shoot me. Alright. Two damage, not that bad. Okay. Uh huh. Nobody there is moving, huh? Okay. Soccer. Oh no, it's Kana. Kana's gonna come up here, punch this guy. And 93. Go, Kana. A lot of damage. Doing good. Okay. Um. Sumire is going to move here, hit him. Okay, no crit, that's alright. Sakura is going to move up here, defend. We will see if she can, uh... ooh, can, there we go, go Koran. Doesn't look like a crit, but that's some damage. 
Okay. I... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna move right here. Less risky. Only if one person can hit each of us. It's safer that way. Alright. Both sides of the gun guy. But... Okay. If he's gonna shoot me, alright. I can take it. 13, alright. Okay, Kana's gonna get hit. Alright. Okay, we got this. Alright, Connor will take him out. 98? Alright, go Connor. Soloing these guys. Hmm. Gonna move her over here. Alright, attack. I probably should have had her attack the other guy. Sakura, move up here. Defend just in case. She will attack these two. One of them's dead. Now move up and get the other guy. Take him out. Alright, making quick work with them. We're gonna save Maria. Okay, I'm getting shot again. Ugh. Okay. It's alright, nothing but a healing will fix. Each, each teammate has, uh, I think, what, two heals? I don't remember. It's been a while. I think each of us have two heals. The little repair kits. Oh, they're attacking me. Okay. I will have uh, Sumire heal me. Maybe. Damn, she's too far back. Damn. There's nobody next to me. Um, okay, we'll think this over. Um... We could go around. Going around might be safer than busting it. I'm thinking it's safer to go around because it'll take like a turn to bust it. Alright, come on, get a crit. Mm, no crit. Alright. That's a lot of damage, though. Alright, Sakura, make your way over to Kana. Very long and drawn out battle, but. Okay. Yeah, I'll hit two people. Mmm, he didn't die. Would have been nice. Yeah, there's two restores. Hmm, if I could crit, but I, I can't trust. I don't know how much damage I'll do. I'd rather have one of them dead. Ah, oh, I critted. Damn. Hmm, that would have been enough. Oh well. I'll defend. Alright. He's gonna shoot Kana. A little bit of damage. Shoot me. I'll take it. Ooh, that looked like a crit. E. Okay. I'll live. Alright. I'm gonna get repaired next turn. Sumeray's gonna heal me. Okay. Okay, let's see if Kana can take this musket out. 
Jesus, musket hex max. Oh, that's a crit, so he's definitely going out. 138, nice. Okay, we're gonna restore me. 50 health. Alright. And uh move here. Sakura will move forward. Uh, I get the melee guy dead. That way I can hit and defend. Make sure he dies. Alright. And another crit. Alright. Well, good for me. Okay, get a little, a little chip damage. Alright, three. Yeah. No big deal. Alright, Kana. Hmm. Sakura can heal Kana. Or Kana can heal himself, probably. I'll kill him, then heal. And Sakura will move a bit. Okay, come on, Kana. Ah. A crit. Nice. She can make it to him, so I'm gonna restore. Okay, Sumeray. Um, you will hack the musket. Ooh, that's a crit. Good job. Yep, that killed. Good job, Sumeray. Okay, we're gonna move up here. And then defense. We're gonna move up here. Attack. And hopefully Koran aided by myself. I don't think that's a crit. It, yeah, I'm not sure actually. Nah, I don't think that's a crit. Alright, defend. And then I am going to move out. Wow, I wasted I defended as myself, not Koran. Oops. That was stupid of me. Ah, oh, that's a crit on Sakura. 24 damage blocking. Okay. Alright. Well, I'm gonna help Sakura out. Okay. So she says Chesto. Chesto. Chest. When, uh. Okay, I'll hit him here. Whenever she, uh, gets a crit. The others do, like, revving motors. Mmm, damn. Okay. I'm going to move myself onto this steam vent. Move over here, get that movement, and then we'll shoot him. Hmm. Yeah, normal hit. Let's see if- oh, yep, he's dead. Alright, that leaves me free to move forward and maybe hit that junk over here. And start trying to break it. To get through. Nice, we did it. Next turn we'll be able to move. Okay, he's gonna hit Sakura. Alright, that's no problem. She heal she'll heal that. Okay, he's moving out, shooting Sakura, alright. Okay, it's not 50 damage worth, right? No. About 45. Okay. Let's see if he has damage off him. Let's see if we can kill this guy. Alright. Go Kana. 106. Go Kana. Strong. Okay. 
assume I can't move very far. Come on. No, no crit. Yeah, he's still alive. Okay. Full oh, heal, though. Okay. Okay, we'll kill him next turn. Sakura will hit and then move. I might, I might actually leave Sakura here in case I have to kill that blue guy down there. Alright, Sumire. Sumire is the slowest, so you definitely want her farther ahead. Alright, at least she didn't crit just to annoy me. Good job, Sakura. Um, eh, we'll bring you over. It's fine. It's gonna be a pain if we have to kill that guy down there. But... Yeah, I can't... yeah, he's very far away. I'd rather not have to run over there. Alright. Let's move out in front. Defend. Yep, there we go. I am the bait. Ooh, Koran might be able to line them up. Although they're not really grouped, but... That's alright. Alright, take him out. Yeah, Gokana. MVP. One hit killing everybody. Sumerai is backing us up. Sakura can move very far, like myself. And does good damage. I mean, well, she does... Eh, I wouldn't say she does good damage, but... She does damage. She does more than... She does more than, uh... Iris, Koran, and... Oh, that's a crit. And, uh... Sumerai. Okay. Here, take him out. I was gonna say, you better not crit. Okay, I am not blocking. Okay. Yeah, I can heal myself. Mm hmm. Okay, I'll heal myself. I still have two. Okay. I'm gonna take him out. Because he can uh, hit a group. Go, Kana. No, yeah, that's a crit. That's like 130 damage. 137. Alright. Good job. Uh, let's go here. And we will attack him. Come on, get a crit. No, uh, that's alright. That was good damage. Alright. Let's see how Sakura does. Maybe she'll get a crit. Go, Sakura. Nope. Okay. Well, you never know. Uh, I could get a crit. Um. Okay. Come on, go around. You can do it. Do enough damage to kill. Good job, go around. Perfect. Alright, I'm going to hit him and then heal. No crit. Oh, but it was enough to kill. Nice. No, 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 no. We need to heal. Okay. He's down there. Is, uh, Maria over here? I'll get a... I'm gonna leave you here, Sakura, just in case. You're faster. 
And I might need to talk to Maria. Let's see. Maria, she's not here. Okay. Damn, I don't know if I can make it. Can I make it there? Run the thin just in case. I can't. Damn. Alright, just, I should have defended. Alright, let's get over here. Yeah, yeah, okay, it's right here. It's her pendant. It's Maria's locket. Damn it, we're too late. This little show the demon has her. I have to come alone, huh? Alright. Going on the boat. Yep, there's the little boat. Okay. Alright, let's go save Maria. It's definitely a trap. Yeah, it's definitely a trap, but... This isn't gonna end well if you just waltz right in. What kind of captain can't protect members of his own unit? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. You'll never expect it. Listen, if Maria's the only one who makes it out of this, I want you all to keep going as the flower division, with her as your new captain. I'll get Maria out of this, I swear I will. I'll leave the rest to you all. You guys cover everything here, hold out. I'll be back. All right. Let's go. Where are we at? Ah, another little part. Now we just resume. Okay. Very long battle sequences. Still nothing too hard just yet. Ah, I see. Well, at least she's not crucified. She's just tied up there. Maria, are you okay? Are you unhurt? I mean, you're tied to a cross. You're probably not okay, but... Uh, uh, the situation is as you can see. I came here to rescue you. I'm the captain of the Flower Division. Of course I care about everyone in it. Not leaving anyone behind. Of course it's a trap. I came here full well knowing that. It'd be a mistake on my part. But I refuse to leave you here. I'm not throwing anything away. I don't plan on dying here. Do you? You can continue your whining in hell. Continue your whining in hell. I've got a flute and very long nails. Did he hit me? Oh, he cut my outfit. Thank God for these shoulder pads. Thank God that my, my suit jacket was padded. In real life, I don't need shoulder padding, so it just cut my shoulder. But, thanks to that big puffy uh, shoulder padding. Almost like big uh, Aldrin looking shoulder pads, like the guy in uh, Those Who Hunt Elves. It's like part of his outfit, but he looks like he has, shoulder he has uh, pauldrons on, they're so big. Like, is he wearing something under his shirt that pads are like that, or is that just built into the outfit? I get cut again. Looks like it's the same slash. Why do I not have a sword? I mean, at least the new guy in Shin Sakura walks around with swords, even though it's kind of stupid. I mean, especially if the original guy didn't even carry a weapon. I mean, it is cool. You should be carrying around, like, your, your, your officer dress sword. I mean, if you can at least, if you've been trained to fight with it. I mean, yeah. I mean, Sakura does it. Why not? It's okay, Maria. I'm fine. Alright. Ah. Opening fire. 
We got some kind of uh, trackers in the suit. Or it didn't wear hers, so we don't know where she was. Well, this mansion's gonna get bombarded. Oh, well, they're all here. Sakura's got a sword. Oh, they're in their kobus. Well, she's got a giant sword. How did they find this place? Yeah, okay, yeah, there's a tracker built in everyone's outfit. Alright. That's why Maria didn't wear hers, so we would have been able to find her right away. It would uh, ruin the plot. Alright, let's go. Let's, uh, take him out. Wow, they brought Maria's Kobu with? How did they manage that? <laughs> Is Setsuna just standing there? Like, I just untied Maria, and they're standing there in their Kobus, and Setsuna's just like, um, what do I do now? Maria, let's go. It's our turn now. <laughs> now we're gonna attack him. Alright. Okay. Let's resume. Let's go. There wasn't very much downtime in this episode. A lot of story. A lot of very long battles as well. Okay, loading. Alright. Oh, he's running away. Okay, Amy's fast. Hmm, can I hit him from here? Let's see. Oh, and her normal hit. No. He tried, Maria. Alright, Kana. Show us your crits. I mean, you do high damage anyway. We don't even really need crits. But... Crits are always welcome, no matter who it is doing it. Okay. I didn't want to move her there, but that's alright, that works. Okay, Sakura, move out. Um, we're gonna move you... Yeah, here, since you can slash through people. Alright. Huh? Oh, he gets to move before me, huh? Okay, he's attacking Maria. Okay. And he can still move after that. Wow. I am too far away to do anything. To be of use. I'm pretty useless in this fight. Maria. Alright. We are going to go here. And uh, hit him with a special. Send this ice angel after him. This ice goddess. Giant icicle. That did pretty good damage. Alright, Kana is gonna move out over here and punch him. Ah, she does a, uh, an earth shatter around herself. So it hits anyone surrounding her if she gets grouped up on. It does enough damage to kill normal Hexmax, too. I'll keep that in mind. Um, what is her range? Sumire can hit two in front of her. Okay. Um, she can't make it over here, though. I don't think this is enough to hit. Oh, she can hit. Good job. Go Sumire. Use that Kanzaki Fujinryu. I don't know your family had its own style. Maybe it's to do with that they make, like... No, it said they make... they made heavy industrial. That doesn't necessarily have to do with fire. Alright, what's your, uh, range? Two and then a diagonal. Okay, I should be able to hit from here. Alright, let's take him out. I don't think we're gonna get him. Unless Sakura can do it. Let's see. Yeah. Is he moving? I kind of don't want to hit him yet. 
I'm gonna defend. Let him do his thing. I don't want him to use a special on Kana. Maybe he's gonna move. Damn. Okay, now, now we're gonna hit him. Let's see if we can get him. Okay. Okay. She so can hit him from here. Okay, shoot him. Oh, that's good. Yeah, he's gonna die. Kana's gonna kill him. Alright. Mm, I think he's dead. Alright, well that was easy. <laughs> and he's dead. Rage Mac death. Thankfully, only his uh, Mac blew up. Alright, victory pose. Got a little. Down low. Thumbs up. And by the hip, thumbs up. Okay. Let's check everyone's stats. How are we doing? High spirit. Oh, that's why Kana is doing so much damage. Alright. Yeah, she was one hit killing everybody. Yeah, make yeah, always always have everyone as happy as they can be. They do better in combat. Well, of course. It's only natural. It's fine, Maria. You don't have to thank me. You've been thinking about it a lot. It's alright. Don't worry about it. Oh, that's right. Mia, give this back. Mm-hmm. No, I didn't open it. Mm-hmm. What's going on with this atmosphere? Yeah, care to explain this romantic atmosphere that you two are having? Yeah, Iris isn't happy either. <laughs> I think you need to chill, Sakura. We're not dating. I have a case of wandering eyes, huh? Really? Huh? Like, you're pushing into uh, a little bit of, uh, not quite, but like the, the the female type character that anytime they flirt, anytime you flirt with somebody or talk to another woman, that they immediately shut down the conversation or they like hit you with a comical item, like a fan or a hammer. Kind of like City Hunter. And I can't stand whatever her name is in City Hunter. I know that she's the main girl, but I actually can't stand her because that's her, that's the entire thing. Like. Not all of the manga has been translated, but yeah, it's like the status quo never changes. He's, he's always a flirt, there's tons of women, and he's always like, ha ha ha, but you're the girl for me, ha <laughs> But anytime he talks to anybody, it's like Brock and Pokemon. Like, even though there could be someone that he actually can have a relationship with, it gets completely ruined by this other woman. It's one of those type of characters, you're kind of kind of dangerously skirting the line sometimes, Sakura. I'm not actually dating you. I'm telling you, it's not like that. Yeah, okay, Sakura. I mean, I don't mind the annoyed look that you have up top, but you have that anger expression down at the bottom left, and yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. <clears throat> We're not a couple. I know you're the main girl, but you can't force me into it. Alright, I'm fit to be the captain. Alright, I thought we already did the victory pose. Didn't we? We already did the victory pose. I'm not imagining it. Yeah, I did a thumbs up. Alright, here we go. Next episode preview. It's the Iris episode. Iris' birthday, huh? Alright. Next time on Soccer Wars. Chaos, chaos.
a great rampage. A storm of love beneath the cherry trees. The cherry blossoms. Alright, next episode. We are going on a date with Iris. Mm, look forward to it. It was a fun minigame. Alright, well that's it for now. Let's look at the stats one more time. Alright, Khan and Maria are in high spirits. Everyone else is normal. Things are looking good. Alright, that's it for this episode. Tomorrow, at the same time, we'll be doing episode 4, The Great Rampage. Tomorrow morning, just as usual, we'll be playing Gundam. Hopefully we can uh, make it to Platinum, but we'll see. I'd like to make it to Platinum before the week is done. So, that's it for tonight. It went a little longer, almost two hours, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. I know nobody's here, but I'll be here all the same, doing this day in and day out, because it's what I enjoy doing. Bye.